What's your father? Is he a doctor? Um, he's into he's into functional medicine. He's not a medical doctor. Okay. Right. I want to take you straight to the change of your life, but before we get there, I want to delve a little bit deep about growing up as a child. Did you ever see yourself becoming a doctor? No. Why? Um, and what were you looking forward to? What did you see yourself as becoming in, in the future? Um, well, as I grew up, I didn't think about being a doctor. Um, but like any, I think leader, that is how a leader comes in. You can trim someone to be what you want them to be. Um, initially, I wanted to be an engineer. And, and when I joined high school, and um, my concentration was basically to be an engineer. When I joined my Form 5, my dad asked for a PCB math. Back then, we used to do a long combination. So, and I changed the combination because I didn't want to do biology. <laughs> I didn't want to do the biology. I wasn't interested in medicine. Yeah. But he talked to me. He didn't punish me. Later on, I changed back to the course. And then there I was, went to campus, do, went for a medical course, and I'm out here. Okay. Yes. And uh, doctor, before we get into our second part, which is the management of change and development, uh, within self, which is what I'm basically taking you through, uh, either in a business or a similar organization uh, at the nation level. Right. Uh, you trained as a medical doctor, and uh, we see you now transiting to another area which is very interesting that we have not seen many people in, in Uganda. That's managing change. Okay. What would you de describe change management in your understanding as is to many of our viewers? How would I describe change management? Yes. Well, I would initially say, I talk something about change. Um, change is something inevitable and irreversible. Once change comes, you have to move. It either changes you or you change with a change. Yes. Currently, um, when you look at the scope and the trend in the world, Cosmetic dermatology is trending, and it's the new norm. It's the new order of the day. Um, everything comes in, the qualifications come in, but how you look matter, and that is what cos cosmetic dermatology deals in. Um, with the prevailing circumstances, like I say, when change comes in, it is irreversible and inevitable. Um, I look at the challenges that are coming up in the world, a couple of people have issues with hair loss, both men and women, and it is now coming to the tender ages. So this, is an in this became an insight to me, to deep, deep inside, deeper into dermatology, and do a super specialty in cosmetic dermatology. Okay. And what was your finding in that area? In cosmetic dermatology? Yes. What is the cause of hair loss in young people and adults at the same time? Well, the causes of hair loss are so many abroad. We look at a couple of factors. There are genetic factors. Um, th that is hereditary. When you look at your ancestral background, your mother, your father, paternal sides, if there is hair loss, this can be carried on. That's genetic. Two, there are diseases of hair, though many people go out undiagnosed. And because people don't think there are solutions to this, so they think it is part of nature, it is time to lose hair, their diseases. There's also what we call diet, the eating habits we have, what foods we do, the care we do to our hair, or the hair practices. Like you see currently many women are losing hair in the hairlines or the forehead. It's basically because of the poor hair practices or the untrained practitioners that they go to cause them to have the hair losses and sometimes have no solution about it. So I choose to come in as a solution to this. Wow. Well, welcome to the CEO bench. Officially, you're hearing that coming from Dr. Ronnie Muhumuza, who is um, the founder and the CEO of... Uh, he's uh, rising to the top. And as you've heard there, the change management from being self to being employed to going to self-employment and to looking into a very big brand of uh, treatment. This is going to be the first 
I am told in Uganda and the bigger. We're going to take a break and when we come back, Dr. Ronnie Murmuza will be talking to us.